Hello, church. Today we're going to be reading from Luke chapter 17, verses 17 to 19. In the prior verses, we learned about Jesus performing a miracle uh, to a, a group of people and only one coming back to be thankful for what Jesus did. And we'll read that Jesus liked his attitude and he's pleased that he fully heals the man. Let's see what happens to the other ones and how we can apply that to our lives. You know, the Bible tells us on that chapter that on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, 10 men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice. So they were so desperate that they were ready to scream and make themselves known to Jesus. And they say, Jesus, Master, have pity on us, have mercy. When Jesus saw them, it's important that Jesus, in with his grace and compassion, he comes to them and says, go, show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. Imagine how wonderful it is to know that we have Jesus Christ, that with his voice, with something he says, he can perform miracles. And that's not only something that happened back in the day, but it happens in our lives now. And God performs miracles in different ways for us. And it's important that we pay attention and we come back to thank him. Let's see what happens after. So one of them out of the 10, when he saw that he was healed, came back praising God in a loud, loud voice again. He, this is an important point. He comes back in a loud voice, meaning that he didn't care. He didn't care what others will think about him. He didn't care what they will say about him. He was thankful. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. And this is what we start reading. Verse 17, Jesus asked, were not all 10 cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God expecting, except this foreign? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Let's pay attention to the man's attitude. Even when he was healed, he knew that he needed to come back and be thankful to Jesus for what he did. And as we are in this season of being grateful and thankful, I just want to remind you to be like the man who was healed, who was going through difficult times and asking. And when Jesus performed that miracle, he did take the time to come back and say thanks. And that's the same thing that I want to uh, remind you today, that when Jesus performs a miracle, when Jesus made himself known to us in different ways, because we're all maybe going through different, different circumstances or situations. When Jesus made himself known to you and to me, let's take the time to come back and say, thank you. Let's take the time to come back and acknowledge that we know that he sees us and we know that he's there for us. And as we, as I said, we're heading to this uh, grateful season or Thanksgiving season, let's thank God for everything that he has done in our lives throughout the year. Think about different points or different places where you have been that God has actually made himself known to you and show his miracles to you. And let's thank him for all the things he has given us, he has provided for us, and especially for his love that never ends. Amen.